Hello, welcome. I'm John Burns with Sitka Technology Group here with another Project Firma training video. We're using the RCD Project Tracker version of the Project Firma system. And today we're going to talk about how to update an existing project. So first I'll log into the system. Remember, if you don't have an account yet, you can use the request account button to create one. Once I'm logged into the system, I'll see the add project and update project buttons. If you don't see these buttons, it's probably because you don't yet have a role in the system. If you need a role, you can use the request support link here to ask an administrator to assign you with a role. So let's update a project. Once I click the update project button, I see a list of the projects that are associated with my organization. For the purposes of this example, I've assigned myself to the Goldridge RCD. So let's look for a project in the list that I want to update. And here is the Upper Green Valley Creek Fish Passage Implementation Project. So I'm going to begin a project update. The project update is used when you want to advance a project to a later stage as the project has moved from planning design to implementation or to complete for a chance to add accomplishments and expenditures that have occurred on a project and a chance to update photos and other project records. So once I'm in the project update workflow for a project, I'll go ahead and click begin. Uh, the submit button here is disabled because there's some sections in the workflow that need to be complete before this project record is finalized. So we'll work through each of these pages and once the required sections are all complete, I'll have the opportunity to submit this update to the administrators and project stewards for their review. It's important to note during the project update that any changes you make here do not update the live project in the system. Rather, the project updates are held to the side where they await review by an administrator. So this should take some of the pressure off as we're updating our project, and any changes we make will be reviewed before they're accepted as part of the official project record. So as I'm going through the Upper Green Valley Creek Fish Passage Implementation Project, this project was planned for completion in 2018, and last time this project was updated, it was in the planning design phase. Well, it's 2018, the project is now complete. So let's change the stage of this project and let's review the estimated total cost. Last time this project was updated, we thought it was going to cost $974,000. This is a chance now that the project is complete to review the record and put in the new and final cost of the project. And unfortunately on this example, let's have a minor cost overrun. The location hasn't changed, so I can simply move through this page. And again, the detailed location, we don't need to change it during the project update unless we want to. We can review that the watershed information was correct and complete. And now the system is asking me to provide some additional details here around the organizations that are associated with the project. Last time this project was entered, the certain information may not have been provided, and so this is an opportunity to complete the record by populating the Senate District and the Assembly District for the project, and to add any funders that were not entered on the last go around. We can also add the partners and the stakeholders to the project if so desired. Now we'll move on. Now that this project has moved from the planning and design phase to the completed phase, we need to account for the performance measures that were accomplished by this fish passage restoration project. So let's find the relevant performance measures. Now remember that the performance measures that are available in this drop-down list are created by the system administrators. If you feel that the performance measures don't accurately reflect your project's accomplishments, you should feel free to reach out to the administrators again using the request support link or by emailing them directly to talk about whether the system has the correct and comprehensive set of performance measures for your project. So this project example, let's bank the habitat restoration and created creation performance measure for the year 2018, where we have enhanced some riparian habitat and we've enhanced 20 acres of riparian habitat. You can add any number of performance measures for any number of years. For this project it took place over 2017 and 2018 so we'll have some accomplishments for both years. 
then we can save and continue. The expected funding was entered for this project when it was in the planning design phase. So we can just review that this looks complete as of the planning and design part of the project. Now we move on to what was actually spent. We can add some expenditures. The system asked for a record of expenditures for the entire time the project was active. This project planning design began in 2013 and the project was not complete until 2018. And so we need to enter the expenditures for every year that this project was active. If in a given year you had no expenditures because the project was on hold, you can simply enter zero for that year. Once we have a complete set of data entered, we can see the total. And you'll generally want the total expenditures to match the estimated total cost for the project, particularly as the project moves into the completion phase, you would expect the record to be complete and reconciled. But for this example, we'll simply move on. And now we have an opportunity to enter the additional photos. Now this is a great opportunity as this project has moved from the planning design phase to the completed phase to get the before, during, and after photos in place to tell the complete story of this photo. Add a new photo to the project. And then we can, at this point, choose to enter any external links to the project. If you happen to have a project page in an external system, you could add links to that project here. These links would show up on the project detail page as a way to find records of the project in any other systems. And then lastly, the opportunity to add any notes to the project. Please do notes that the project, please do note that any notes entered here would be visible to the general public on the project detail page. So once the update is complete and all sections are entered, we can then submit the update which will notify the administrators and project stewards that this project is, has been updated and they will have an opportunity to review and approve the update before it becomes part of the system of record. Once the update has been approved, the project detail page will reflect all changes to the project and the system of record will have been updated. So thank you for watching another Project Firma training video.